Hello everyone, welcome back on Avriti. This is Rajiv once again and today we are going to see how to create buttons and understand the properties associated with buttons in Animate CC. Today's objective is to understand how we can create buttons and how we can put effects in the buttons and then you know take it to the next level where user can interact with it. So uh, this is Animate right in front of us and we are going to start with an action script 3.0 file okay let's click on that and I'm not going to you know set up the dimensions of the stage the whole purpose here is here to understand how buttons work for creating the button now button is uh, one of the symbols there are three types of symbol in flash graphic movie clip and button so uh, button is a symbol um, and let's create our very first, uh, very first button in, in, in Flash. And for doing so, you can convert anything into a button as long as it is visible or even the invisible, you know, uh, things we can convert it into a button in, in a fla uh, Animate CC. And uh, so uh, we'll create a button. So I am using just the rectangle tool here to f uh, create this button here. Now. Uh, notice when I created this rectangle, I have the, uh, the fill color and the outline color active and I can change the color. I'll just, you know, change it to something else. Uh, let's just, you know, keep it flat color and I'll get rid of the outline because I don't want it. Okay, so right now this is just vector art. And we can convert this into a button by hitting the shortcut F8 on the keyboard which brings up this convert to symbol dialog box and let's give it a name uh, button one now this name is only for referring it into the library uh, in, 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 in the in, an, in, in a separate video I'll tell you how to link these buttons with a different page or how to you know make this button work basically so right now the focus is only on creating the button and from the type drop down we will have to select button okay and then say okay don't click on the advance we will deal it with later on um, and this registration point basically defines uh, the point from where the location of the org object will be decided in relation with the zero zero point of the stage so this is top left corner here by default i'll just let it be the way it is so say okay now it's converted into a button very simple now how do we know that it's a button now in the editing mod if you select it in the properties it will show you button if it says button it is a button now if you test the movie by hitting control enter on the keyboard and take your cursor on top of it it automatically changes into a hand pointer cursor and that also symbolizes that it is a button and if I click on it something is going to happen right now nothing is going to happen in fact the button is also not you know behaving in a in a particular fashion uh, uh, how button is supposed to behave it should give us a visual feedback that it's a button right now these three are also buttons so if I hover my cursor on top of it, it changes color, it, you know, brightens up a little and it gives us a feeling that, okay, this is something uh, with which I can interact, I can click on that. So that sort of visual feedback is very important when it comes to designing a button. Uh, so let's go inside the button and we can do so by double clicking on it and the timeline now changes to the native timeline of button 01 and here we have a different sort of arrangement if we compare it with the main timeline then the buttons timeline appears to be different and it is because button only has a total of four states okay so we'll just you know have a look at all these four stages and what it does for us so the very up uh, the first one the up stage is the normal state of the button how it appears when uh, nothing is happening with the button like the cursor is away from the button and button is on its own then that will be defined by the up stage so what we can do we can create a 
keyframe on overstays as well so I'll hit F6 on the keyboard to create a keyframe and now I can change the color of the button on the overstays so I'll choose a darker blue okay fine so on the upstays it's this color and on the overstays it becomes a little darker now the upstays uh, sorry the overstays is when my cursor is on top of the button now you cannot see it in the editing mode but if I test my movie you will see the moment the cursor touches the button it changes its color and attains the color which is defined on the overstage so that is how it behaves now about the downstairs let's make a uh, keyframe there as well I'll hit F6 again and this time I'll change it to gray now let's test the movie and then see when that ground uh, that gray color dark gray color we have put on the downstairs appears now the downstairs means when my cursor is on the button and the mouse click is enabled enabled means I am still holding the mouse click I haven't left it yet and if I leave it it will go back to the overstays in this case because I'm returning back to the same uh, you know uh, instance of time where the button is placed usually what happens when we link the button to a different page or a different action the button you know if I click on the button it, it takes us to the to the location where it is supposed to take us so the up stage is the normal stage when my cursor is away from it when I hover on top of it it turns into blue uh, the darker blue which we have defined on the over stage if I click and hold my mouse cursor it will switch to down state so these three states are the visible states I'll just give you another example for the hit stage and uh, let's come back to the scene one now this is the first button we have created now button also requires some you know text to uh, on top or some sort of you know uh, symbolic identification that this particular button is going to perform um, a designated task so we need to give the user understanding of how what is going to happen basically when they click on the button and for doing that text is the best way so what we can do we can create another layer on top of it here by clicking on this new layer button and on the layer one what we want I want now notice the keyframe starts from the first frame and it continues down uh, till the third frame so if I put something here it's going to get continued from up to over to down all three phases of the button so exactly how I want it to be I'll switch to text tool and I'll click and drag to define a text box and let's just type my button and uh, we can you know do all sort of all sorts of text formatting here so you know I can select a different font um, I can increase the size of the font and I can also of course change the color but here I don't want to change the color okay so let's just center it out you can also use your uh, keyboard arrow keys for uh, aligning it as long as this first tool selection tool is active and the content is selected I'll change it to white okay and now let's test our button once again if I go on top of it it changes into a darker blue and if I click and hold it will change into the down state so that's how you define a button Now this was about the very simple basic button if you want to learn more about buttons then you can click on the uh, link below to go to the next part of this tutorial and uh, we'll be talking about the head stays as well as we will be talking about few more things which can be done with button like putting animation on it and all those fancy stuff which you see in day to day uh, internet browsing and interacting with different applications so yep stay put and uh, thank you very much for being with me till the end of this video i hope you also check out the next part of this video thank you so much if you like the content please hit like and and, and subscribe that really boosts up my morale thank you